Hey guys, welcome to another Bucket plugin tutorial and today it's on the plugin Crystal Quest. So this is a really awesome PvP mini game where the objective is to destroy the enemy's ender crystals. So um, what we're going to do to begin with is set up to the lobby. So we're going to go into it and do CQ set lobby. So this just sets the global lobby for the for all arenas really. And now we're going to want to create an arena slightly different uh, to other plugins. So you do CQ create arena. Uh, you don't have to call it anything with this command, that's with the next command. So CQ uh, followed by set name, uh, the arena ID which is 3, um, and then the name, so we're going to call it YouTube. There you go. So it now has a particular name. And obviously uh, using permissions such as group manager, you can give people permission to uh, use this arena. So maybe it could be a VIP one. Which is really, really cool. Um, now we want to CQ check uh, our arena. So three. And obviously we haven't set the teams, we haven't set the minimum max players, and etc. We need to do all that. So, teams. Um, you can have up to eight. Each team responsible to a particular colour. And yeah, so uh, teams one and two are green and orange. So, uh, let's do that. Set teams and... Two arena is three and team mount is two, so yeah, right, good. So uh, now that we set that, we need to set the team lobby. So uh, this is gonna be green team lobby. It's gonna be here. So uh, CQ set team lobby. Uh, it's gonna be three arena three and then no, not my name. Team one, I believe. Oh, hello. What's up with that? Uh, set, uh, no, it's just team lobby. Do need the set. There you go. So that's team one. And I made this arena really badly. <laughs> team two. There you go. So uh, as you can see, that's not even in the middle. Uh, not even remotely. I just made this quickly. Just And that's going to be for a, an upcoming mini game. Ooh, I wonder who can guess what it's, it's going to be. Okay, right. So, uh, once we have done that, uh, we need to um, set the player limits, so this is uh, very important. So, as there's only me in Lincoln Park, I usually only do two min and max players, um, but I might do two and four this time, because it might get confused um, if they're the same value. Uh, I'm always worried that I, I could break a plugin just because I'm only setting it up for me and my other account. So be careful. Anyway, uh, that worked because I uh, selected four as the max place. I believe there is a, um, if you do CQ help, there's a four start command, which may be useful. Uh, four start, yes, so I will be able to use that um, if there isn't an automatic start, which is cool. So um, now we need to set the spawn for the arena. So uh, there's two different spawns. There's the team spawn, which is going to be at either end. And there is also the crystal spawn. So team, no, CQ team spawn. Uh, three and then one, like so. There you go. So you can set more than one, but I'll just, I only need one, so there you go. Uh, for team, team two, there you go. You set another one by repeating the command like thus. Um, what could we do now? So, um, the Ender Crystals is quite an important aspect. So, CQ check, um, and it's going to be Arena 3. So, we've set all this, so we need to set Item Spawns, we need to protect it, and uh, set the Crystal Spawns. So, Crystal, this is very interesting. So, you can either do one of two things. The first thing is to set Crystal Spawns for a particular team colour. So, if uh, you run up to that and try and hit it, you can't destroy it because it's uh, your own team. So the command you're going to need is CQ Crystal Spawn and uh, then the arena names so are three. So we're going to add one here and do one on the, another one on the green block. One for just any team. Um, there you go. One for the orange team and two for the orange team. Like so. Now we want to set item spawns. So uh, I believe these are like power-ups so they help you um, I'm going to put one here, 
So uh, very similar to Mars CQ items spawn. Uh, great. I like it that the developer hasn't used uh, longer commands like set item spawn, um, etc. Because uh, it makes it awfully difficult to keep doing that. So yeah, that's pretty nice. I uh, the arenas there. Sorry OCD people who like symmetrical things. I do like symmetrical things. Um, like that lovely spawn over there that I used for a plugin uh, tutorial. But uh, <laughs> I don't know this uh, arena, it's horrible. But uh, oh well, it's, it's fine. It's just fine for the tutorial. Oh. But yeah, um, what we need to do now, I think that's everything. So we can check. Um, let me use some lobby signs. So CQ check. Have I done everything? In the arena three. Protected. No. Um, so you can do CQ protect three. And it didn't protect it. How strange. Oh, um, there you go. CQ wand. There we go. So you actually need to select. And it destroyed that lock. Unbelievable. So you actually need to select the arena to protect it. Uh, I'm, I'm just going to select this bit. Now CQ protect. There, there we go. Forgot about the wand. But yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, they could have integrated it with World Edit and just used the, this wand. But uh, they did it on their own. So that's pretty cool. So now we need to do two more things. So that's uh, protect the arena and uh, set up the signs. So CQ wand gives you this lovely uh, wand tool. So it does actually destroy a block when you uh, click it. So this is how to protect your arena. So click the top um, left hand corner and then fly over to the right hand corner and fly down to the bottom. Uh, make sure all of your arena is covered, but uh, it doesn't really matter uh, for your tutorial because I don't think Lincoln Park's going to agree. So then you just do CQ protect and then three, which is the arena ID. So that's protected, and now we need to do uh, all the signs. There's quite a few, uh, which is surprising if I can remember how to do them all. Uh, so I believe uh, a lobby sign. So you can either do crystal quest like this, um, and shop, that's one of them. Uh, although you, you want to put that in the uh, spawn, so let's do the spawn ones first. Uh, so you can either do crystal quest or CQ. CQ is a lot easier, so shop. And uh, like that. And then you can also just CQ, and this allows you to pick a class in a GUI. Both have awesome GUIs. It's very, very cool. So uh, now we need to do um, a spectate sign. So CQ spectate. CQ lobby. Uh, like this. And finally a join sign. I didn't really plan this out too well. <laughs> Here we go. Look, it's even more um, unsymmetrical now. What am I like? Um, YouTube. So this is the join sign, obviously. And yeah, so you want to put these two on this side as well. CQ uh, shop. Oop, there you go. And finally, CQ and just just that. Yeah. So there we go. Finally done. And uh, yeah, so uh, I'm going to join uh, the YouTube and I'm going to join the green team. So I'm going to wait for Lincoln Park to get on and then we'll have a play. Before we join the game, I had to make a small adjustment to the crystal spawns. I don't think I made them big enough, so I've raised them up um, above the ground, put bedrock below, um, just so they've got enough room and they're only set to. So uh, yeah. So I played the game, um, it worked perfectly, and yeah, once I finished, it said restarting on the sign while it sorted everything out, and now I can join, so you can either random team if there's more, uh, but we're going to join Team Orange, so uh, I believe I did, I have 100 crystals, so what could I get? These are quite expensive, um, yeah. Uh, extra classes, I've got all of them, power upgrades, 500, everything's 518, no. Okay, so I'm going to quickly choose a class, uh, TNT guy, uh, this is VIP, because uh, I'm special. 
and uh, LT Gym is going to be a different one. So, um, everything's really, really cool. So you've got uh, this cool enchanted armor uh, that's colored. So I love colored um, armor. And uh, items will spawn here. They don't spawn instantly. Um, but there will be the crystals there. Here it is. So I have to destroy that. So it pops up after a while. So Linker Park, when I kill him, he will drop some uh, lovely crystals. So there you go. You heard... Um, so to run. That got him. Uh, you can see the crystals on the ground. Bing, got that. More points for me. And the, obviously the objective of the game is for me, uh, as the orange team, to destroy the green team's crystal. And I've got to defend my one, um, which I can't destroy. Here are the random items, by the way. Lightning bolt. Die. So it's really, really cool the way he's done... <coughs> the way he's done... Um, special items, so you right click them. I think there's another one uh, I had earlier. It was a an ink sack where when you right clicked it, ooh, what's this? Railgun, that's pretty cool. So when you right clicked the, um, the ink sack, uh, it went blindness for the enemy. So he could start attacking me, uh, but he's going to take out my crystals. I'll take out his. So yeah, it's pretty, very cool. Um, make sure you set it up correctly. Everything should be crystal clear. Ha <laughs> ha, terrible fun. But uh, yeah. No, what I, what I should have said was, uh, I hope this tutorial has been crystal clear. Ha ha ha. No, it's too late, I need to go play Counter-Strike. I've been feeling quite ill lately over the weekend, which is why there wasn't a video. But now there is. So, uh, yeah. CQ check. Um, the arena. And, yeah. So, uh, when all of those are green, you know your arena is ready to play. So, you can do CQ quit uh, to leave. But I'm going to let um, LT Jim leave instead. <sighs> CQ quit. He doesn't seem to be responding. So, spectate. I can spectate this one. But it's restarting. So, uh, yeah, I can actually fly without game mode, so that's pretty cool. And uh, LT Gym has crashed. So, yeah, um, subscribe, like, comment. Oh, my God, lag. Uh, uh, restarting. So, yeah, that's what I was talking about earlier. So, uh, thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.